I'm ready! I'm ready! Drop! Drop! Oh! oh. oh what you show me for? Yeah, you thought that was funny? Oh. I thought that was funny. Oh. 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 Wow, look at these old mine carts. Liberty Machine Works. Wow, look at this safe. There's a safe inside the safe. I like this old floral print. It's pretty cool. Huh, looks like another vault or something. There's a little combination pad on it. Looks like an old tractor. Here's our first car, I hope of many. Wow, still has the wooden roof intact and a real wood steering wheel. Very interesting. This was an old truck. There's a wagon right there. So we're gonna go walk down the hill here into the main area and get some lunch. There's a lot of antique shops and stuff like that down there, so... Oh, this was pulling the trailer. Look at that. This tractor still has the motor in it. It's pretty awesome. So here in Oatman, one of the most interesting things would be the very nice donkeys. Unlike the ones we find out in the wild. These people are literally feeding them out of their car window. Oatman Theater. Pretty interesting. Yeah, you just have a mess of donkeys everywhere, just hanging out with the people. I think they're putting on a show right now. Jackass Junction. Look at that. Just in time. You anyway, so I get down here. I know you're the one stole my wife and my horse. I'm ready. I'm ready. Drop. Oh. You want to go? Your donations may be multiplied for you a thousand points. You gotta enjoy your day and God bless and thank you. Oatman General Store. Wow. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. I found an old antique shop down here last time I was here. Do you know where that's at? Uh, down here on the corner, Dakota Leather. On the corner, awesome, cool. Thank you so much. You're Take welcome. Care. All right, Dakota Leather. That's where we're going now. Dakota Leather and Gifts. Hello. Hi. Yeah, this is the uh, room that I remember back here, way in the back. Wow, look at that trike. 
One of the donkeys is yelling. Wonder how old this is. Old baby carriage. 1800s. Something very, very good condition still. Oh, all this stuff is for sale. Yeah, this is the special room back here. We'll go in in a second. Some old fans. So this is where it gets a bit more interesting here. Coast King. Some old roller skates here. Old hand tools here. Oh, I didn't even see this little car. Duplicolor car polish. So this place is actually located right on the historic Route 66. We had to come in on it. That's the uh, road you saw in the earlier montage. Lots and lots of history here. Oh, that one's made of a tusk, it looks like. Some old ammunition containers. Some old canteens. Great place to pick up some cool stuff. Oh wow, look at these old cars. Mostly from the 70s era, I would guess. That one's probably really old, actually. Some clocks. Old lanterns. A bunch of old telephones. These things are cheap, too. About $45 on average. It's a little bake oven. Music radio. Look at that record player. 239 bucks for that phone. These look like juicers, I guess. It's like uh, 50 irons here. So cool. Where do you even get all this stuff? Thank you. There's an ice cream shop right here. Restaurant open. This place has a ton of money on the walls. Very good food as well. Guess we'll walk down to the end. Shooting gallery. Jenny and Jack's tax artifacts. Mine museum. We'll go check that out. Wow, I've actually never walked back here. This is an old safe, it says. Wow, what is that? Very cool. A jail punishment cell. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Wow. I mean, this thing is small. You can't even sit down in there. It's a very old coffin. Looks like a bone with some big teeth. One of the old donkeys. Wow, what is this? Desert. Dig Oatman, Arizona. There's an old firewall here. Something. This place is really cool. So I guess you can go into the mine shaft over to my right. We'll get there in a second. Oh, well, we actually find Buckets just like that, out in the desert. And this looks like an old telegraph line with the glass insulators and the wood. That's actually really cool. Look at that. 
This says it was the sheriff's room, I guess. There's an old fire hose reel there. There's an old prospect. Some old cans up top. The ghost town that refuses to die. There's some information. There's a little window there. This is the end of it right here. That's just rock. Super cool. Turn on my flashlight. There we go. That's a little bit better. I see a museum sign. That's where we're going now. Hello. How you doing? Very cool. Oh, there's something way out there. It's like old, uh, something. I don't know. We can walk down there. Oh, that's, um, what's it called? Nelson. Yep. I just filmed there. Did you? Yep. Yeah, yep. that's a cool place. So I just talked to a nice guy named Rod, who actually has the very last stand right there. And I guess he's been out and around here for a long time. And he told me these ruins up here are from the late 1800s, and we can easily go poke around. So we're gonna see how close we can get without getting into trouble. So I guess this was a really, really big gold mine. Oh yeah, I can see one of the refineries already. Look at that. And according to Rod, this place pulled a lot of gold out of these hills and I guess we're standing on, oh, what do you say, 800 miles of tunnels underneath? And there's actually an A-frame house right on top of that hill that was built on top of a very, very deep uh, mine shaft. And the guy who built the house used the mine shaft for air conditioning in the summer, which kind of blew my mind. I'm not going to get too involved out here. We're about to lose daylight and I have a very long drive home still. So we'll go ahead and start heading back to our vehicle now. Wow, there's a really old building right there. Is that somebody's house? Looks like it. There's a little van parked out there. Pretty cold out today. Oh, it points this way. So maybe we can get back to our truck through here. There's a lot of older buildings up in the hill there too. Bye to the donkey. Hello. We'll leave him alone.
So much to see here. Oatman was founded about 1906. By 1931, the area's mines had produced over 1.8 million ounces of gold. By the mid-1930s, the boom was over, and in 1942, the last remaining mines were closed as non-essential to the war effort. Burrows, which are donkeys, first came to Oatman with early day prospectors. The animals were also used inside the mines for hauling rock and ore. Outside the mines, burrows were used for hauling water and supplies. As the mines closed and people moved away, the burrows were released into the surrounding hills. The burrows you meet today in Oatman, while descendants of domestic work animals, are themselves wild. They will bite and kick. Please keep a safe distance from them. Wild burrows are protected. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. All these signs on the buildings are so cool. So I guess that was the uh, post office, or maybe it still is, I don't know. Oh, that's called the Elephant Tooth, I think you said. So I'm gonna try to drone up here a little bit on the way out, see if we can get a better look at those ruins and stuff. We came in through the other way behind us, but we get a better view at all this stuff down here. See how far we can push the little quadcopter. Yeah, so there's the ruins right there. There's that brick cabin. All right, let's drone. There is a bunch of power lines right above me, so I need to get away from here. I think we're away from those lines. Yeah, doesn't look like there's any. I guess we'll find out, right? So I guess this pile here was all the um, deposit or the dirt they had dug out of the mine shafts. I can't think of the proper uh, terminology at this exact moment. So let's go check out these uh, old ruins over here. There's a pretty uh, crazy wind that we're fighting right now, so footage is going to be kind of leaning to the side. Wow. This is amazing, to be honest. Really gotta stay up in the air because I cannot see where these power lines are. Wow, look at that pulley system. He told me about that. Look at this place. Check on us. Oh, we're good. Okay. I don't know really where to go. I feel like I'm gonna make sure we don't lose. Sorry, there's 45 notifications on the phone. Oh wow, look at that. Hmm. That is a old prospect, I guess. Not in too safe of a location, but we're in Oatman. Look at all this stuff. Wow, another prospect right there. This is so cool. Bunch of old junk. Make sure we have good... Um, yeah, we can still see. Oh, gotta stay up high. There we go. Some more ruins down here, old buildings and whatnot. Thank you, Oatman. This is really cool stuff to see. Wow, there's some people poking around down there waving at us. I should go buzz them. Um, let's see if we can. Let's go to race mode. Back to chill mode. Give the kids a show for a second. Is there anything else we should see while we're here? Might as well go poke around. I feel like I shouldn't get too far away. I think I'm too far away.
Is that another vertical mine shaft? Looks like it. stuff. It's cool that that building's still standing. Keep out. Danger. Oh, why am I so low? It's very irresponsible. Alright, Oatman. It's been good. I gotta back up. He's like yelling at us now. All right, watch out guys. Okay, see ya.